Hello Diverners, it's Mrs Whitehouse here with another crafty make for you. Um, I thought today, I hope you're well, um, I hope you're out in the sunshine if you've got some time to go outside, I hope you're doing lots of nice work at home with your schoolwork and I hope that you're doing lots of reading. Um, I thought we'd make something called a spinner which you can have a bit of fun with and use some things you've got around the house to make this. So what you need is some card, so things like a cereal packet card would be good, card from a box that's no longer needed, like a shoe box or something, and you're going to need two pieces of card. I'm going to draw round, because I need two circles, I'm going to draw round um, an old CD that I have here which is no longer of any use. You could draw round a small plate, you could draw round a cup, you don't want anything too big, a CD is probably the biggest you'd like to do. So the idea is you have to draw around this as a circle, so draw around the edge, so you can use a pencil to do that with, you can use felt pens, I've got a permanent marker so I don't need that one at the moment and I need to cut that out. So cut my Okay, if you need some help with cutting out, please ask for it, um, but it's a very good skill to learn. So don't just give up if you can't do it the first time. Lots of practice required to do scissors. Okay, so the card's got to be reasonably stiff, not, not flimsy paper or anything, it does have to be sort of slightly stiff. So that's one piece of card. I actually have cut out a second one that I did earlier. Now you've got to find the centre of this and I've found a way of doing that really cleverly. You cut a circle of paper out the same size as your discs and then if you fold if you fold it in half to get a semicircle and then fold it in half again to get a quarter of a circle. The point here, when you mark it on your circle of card, which is exactly the same size, is actually the middle. Okay, see I can put a little dot there. So that is the middle of my circle. And if I do the same on the other one, and then you don't have to do lots of measuring with rulers and things like that, it just makes it quite easy to do. So that's a little handy hint from Mrs Whitehouse. Now what I do need is two, we're going to make two holes in this at some point, so I want to have a dot either side of my centre. So you've actually got three dots now. Okay, so I've actually got three dots. Oops, can't find the middle here. Okay, so the centre one of those is the actual centre of the circle and the two either side is where I'm going to make holes or I'm going to get someone to help me make holes if I need to um, so that my string can go through. So you'll, you'll see what those are needed for later on. You can at this point make the holes, that would be a good idea. So you can, <coughs> I think, get an adult to do this if, you, if you're um, if you're quite little because you need somebody to be able to punch two holes in there with something, a pair of scissors or something, but I wouldn't recommend doing it if you're a little person. I've got one of these gadgets here which I can make holes in, which is quite nice, but you just need to be able to make two holes, so somebody with a pair of scissors this is like a big hole punch Okay, so I've got my holes prepared for later, so I don't need to worry about those. Now, what you've got to do is decorate this with some nice bright colours. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so it's something nice and bright. You can have different patterns on either side, it doesn't have to be the same on either side, because what's going to happen when we use the spinner is that as we spin it the colours will all merge in together but you can start off with a really nice out 
picture on the outside. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do a line, and you can use a ruler for this if you want to. I'm going to draw a line right the way through the middle of my circle. And I'm going to draw another line. But you can do all sorts of patterns on these, and this is the fun to sort of experiment with if you make a few of them. I'm going to have a wiggly line, and another wiggly line. One wiggly line in there. And you can make it as colourful as you like. I'm using felt pens. You can use, you need something that's quite bright so that you can see the colours. So felt pens are quite a good thing to use. In fact, I'll put another wiggly line here. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect because mine is definitely not perfect there. Um, another idea is to do like a snake. Where are we? So you're going to come in like a very big spiral. Okay, again, if you need a little bit of help with this, but it's quite fun to have a little play. Until you get to the middle. And then you can add some different colours. So I'm going to add some spots, some spots onto mine, little blue spots. and go in, in between these other spots. Not a very dark blue this, but anyway, never mind. Okay, they don't have to be in any order or any pattern. And I'm going to put one I'm going to put some lines going from there to the outside, just on that part. Okay, so I've just done the outside part on that one. Let's get a different colour. I'm going to have green, I think. Oops. So I'm going to come in with some little shapes like that. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the shape is, you can play with it and see what happens when you spin your spinner, because you'll be quite surprised to see what happens. And I'm going to put a circle in the middle. Okay, so that's sort of idea, just to get some colour onto that. So I've got one that's doing that, and I've got one that's doing that. They don't have to match at all. And then we turn them over and we're going to stick this down. So you can use PVA glue. You could use some print stick. It's going to be something that will stick paper and card together. Okay, and then try and match up, because we've got two holes on this side, and we've got two holes on the other one, try and match them up carefully so that you've got the, the hole matched with the hole. If you prefer to put your holes in afterwards, you can do that, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That might make it easier, if it makes it easier, then do it that way. In fact, I'm going to turn mine round. So I think mine go better that way. Okay, so I've got my two holes matched up. So there's one there, one there, and we forget about the little one in the middle, which is the, the centre of our circle. The next thing you need is a piece of string. Okay, so it doesn't have to be too thick. 
Um, mine is approximately a meter and a half. Okay, so don't you don't want it too too short, but you don't want it too too long. And you pass it through the holes in your. So again, you might need a bit of help with this. You might need to poke it through with a pencil to get it through the hole. So obviously the string has got to be able to fit through the hole. You could do it with a bit of wool if you had, or some ribbon even. As long as it goes, as long as you can get it through the hole. Okay, so that's one side. And pass that one through. This is probably the trickiest bit to do. Just try and get those through there. Lovely. Okay. So, when you get to the other end, you can tie them up. The, uh, the easiest way I find to tie them up is you hold the two ends together and go around your finger and push the two ends through that hole that you've created over your finger. Again, that's, this might be something that you need a bit of help with. And I'm just going to trim the end off. I think sharper scissors would be useful. So what we have now is we have my spinner sits in the middle, if you can get it into the middle. You don't need to tie it into the middle, but we've got one end so, so that the two little discs go halfway in. You might need to leave this dry a little bit before you actually spin it so that the card has an opportunity to, 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 to dry. And then you spin it round and as you pull it, it makes fancy patterns on your thing, on your discs. So spin it, and it makes fancy patterns, and it, it, all the colours blur together. Okay, so if you have a little bit of fun with that one, um, lots of different designs will possibly give you lots of different effects when you look at it. And the colours will merge together and you'll see a blurring of your, of your colours. So have fun with that one. You can make some for your friends. You can make them together. Um, see whose design makes the, the best pattern. And I hope you enjoy doing that one. I'm going to do another little video with a different sort of spinner at some point. So watch out for that one. Uh, keep well. Keep washing your hands. Keep two metres apart. Don't forget that one. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.